Welcome back to Lightning Problem Solving. We're committed to bringing you the latest manufacturing tips to help your company surpass its wildest goals and dreams. Today we're gonna to talk about noise problems. <laughs> noise problems always have two things in common. They're always a result of contact and movement. Your job is to find out where the contact is and what is moving. First, compare the non-noisy parts. Check to see if they have contact or movement or what they're lacking. Do they have movement but no contact? Or maybe they have contact but no movement. Maybe the good parts are actually noisy but you just can't hear it for some reason. I once had a shifter noise where if you held your hand in front of the part, it acted as a megaphone and you could hear the noise. But the people that drove with their hand over the shifter couldn't hear the noise. Of course, knowing the right questions to ask, I was able to find root cause within hours after the engineer had worked that project for weeks. This information I'm giving you might sound simple, but it is so valuable for finding the root cause of your noise problems lightning fast. Sometimes it's complicated to find the contact and movement. There might be parts that need to be cut away to find out what's underneath. You might have to use chassis ears or a stethoscope with a tube to hear specific points of the part. Another thing you can do is put accelerometers on the part and check for movement. Usually it's best to record the noise and make the noise a variable measurement. It's much easier to solve a project if you have a variable measurement system instead of either noise or no noise. Once you find the difference between the noisy parts and the good parts, build three the good way and three the bad way. Run them through a test. If the three bad ones are noisy and the three good ones are quiet, most likely you have the root cause. Thanks for watching. If this video has helped you, leave a comment below. Also, be sure to click like and subscribe so you won't miss out on any lightning fast problem solving pointers. Until next time, happy problem solving.